Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm here back, actually back at the house taking care of some business and things. And we have some breaking news on one Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is out on the field after having the walking boot last week uh, that popped up, um, I believe, on the 4th of July. And everybody went crazy. And it has been the talk of the town. And let's be clear here. There's not much to have been talking about right now because we are in the silly season of the NFL season until the 12th yes the 12th is when rookies report for the baltimore ravens that's this week guys that's this week rookies will start reporting to training camp this week for the baltimore ravens and we can actually start talking about things that are going on in the field in the meantime we do have this exclusive clip here of dak prescott on the field on the practice field, moving around, apparently without pain, without any restrictions and things, and getting it done. Let me go to the tape here so you can see what we're talking about here. One Dak Prescott out texting, testing his foot. There we go. Boom. There you go. Dak Prescott working out on the field with the kids. Seems to be moving around really, really well. So maybe there's nothing to worry about there. There you go. All right. So Dak Prescott back, excuse me, back on the field there working out seeming to be okay and we of course have more news because uh, this is the cowboys there's always more news the nfl network is trying to make as much as they can out of dak prescott situation and let's listen to them the cowboys won't forget we keep talking about it too and maybe of course. it really does serve as motivation for this upcoming season welcome mm-hmm. to nfl live tim hasselbeck herm edwards jeff darlington with you for the hour we have an interview with Devonte adams coming your way that you don't want to miss here what he says about the quarterbacks there in las vegas but first let's get to the cowboys quarterback dak prescott he was seen in a walking boot as you see there on his vacation in cabo the poor man can't even vacation we're taking pictures of him. Plenty of questions surrounding his health after this, but the Cowboys have continued to downplay it. Here's Dak himself on the reason for the boot. The same ankle, right, that, that, that I snapped and had a nasty surgery on four years ago. So, um, yeah, a couple of hard days of training and, um, you know, you get a little sore and you're going on a fishing trip and you want to protect it and, and uh, make sure that things don't get worse. So, um, literally, it's, it's absolutely nothing. That's why uh, what's the people, people are reaching, trying to make things that they aren't I'm getting older, I have to take care of my body, I have to be smart, and uh, if I can take precautions and, and lessen something by putting on a boot, I'm going to do it, and so, sorry that uh, it, it caused such a world. <laughs> I mean, Tim, Dak doesn't seem too concerned about the walking boot, but are you <laughs> concerned that he needed a walking boot to prevent further injury on his surgically repaired ankle on his We got jokes. Boot? I mean, it might get slippery on the boat, Laura. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I actually don't think it's that big of a deal if he's out of the boot and if they expect him to be a full participant. He is right. Like, there is a history uh, with that ankle. Oftentimes, guys need to get things cleaned up uh, because of the wear and tear of a season on something that's been surgically repaired. Um, so, look, I don't think it's an issue. Now, we see it's in not the boot. an issue. Weeks, you know, two, three, four, that type of thing. I think there's cause for concern, but uh, I actually don't this time of year. And I almost can would even say too, just like listening to Dak talk, hmm. he doesn't sound like a guy that that's real concerned about how the ankle would affect him. 
I, I agree. When you hear him say it himself, he, Tim, it, it. it makes it kind of like, eh. I just had a fishing accident the other day, too. So I, I do agree. you got to take all the precautions you can. All right, Dak is one of the players that are awaiting new contracts in Dallas, along with star wide receiver C.D. Lamb. Look at this. Lamb is hosting his youth football camp today. Tweeted this warning to reporters yesterday. Quote, I'm not speaking about any contract negotiations. If that's your questions, you'll get zero answers. It's about the kids. So since we can't ask CD about contracts, we'll ask our friend and insider Jeff Darlington. What more can you tell us about the contracts <laughs> decisions there in Dallas, Jeff? There is no better excuse than just saying it's about the kids, by the way. You yeah. can't say anything back to that. It's for the kids. <laughs> Look, when it comes to C.D. Lamb, the Dallas Cowboys have definitely behind the scenes made him the priority. Now, whether or not that means that his deal will get done first when we talk about the big three of Dak Prescott and Micah Parsons in addition to Lamb remains to be seen. The question here, of course, is what more do the Cowboys need to get this deal done? We've already seen Justin Jefferson get his deal done. Perhaps Jamar Chase can get his deal done and, and maybe give the answers that the Cowboys need. The question then becomes, are they willing to pay that much? Are they willing to go up to that $35 million number for C.D. Lamb? Big question still ahead for C.D. Lamb, but I can at Big least question. tell you that these negotiations are ongoing and that C.D. Lamb is a priority. Yeah, I, I can see Jerry wanting to get this done. I mean, he, he's one of the staples of this offense and, and one of the best wide receivers in the National Football League. Uh, when you think about CD, um, you know, his ability to catch and This run, is kind of crazy. His, catches, his whole Almost 2,000 yards in reception. So he, he, he's a big player for them. But CD Lamb, you know, he has the same problem of all the Cowboys. These guys got to show up in big contests. And we know what that means. That's the playoffs. That has not been the case for this whole football team as of late. And I think when you look at it too, Coach, you're right, and they do, but they're also going to get paid. And then they're going to get know, paid. I think that you know Dallas has had a little bit of a history of probably waiting too long. It's certainly been the case, uh, you know, when looking at the Dak Prescott situation. And so I think the big thing, if you're Dallas, is look, you you want to get it done. You don't want, you know, a number one wide receiver completely unhappy because just look at what happens. Like, look at the Tennessee Titans. They didn't want to do a deal with a number one wide receiver. They moved him uh, to Philadelphia. Well, they didn't want to do that with, CD, with Lamar Cooper. Years. When you have a true number one, a guy that is a true number one receiver that can catch over 100 balls a year, a guy that scores touchdowns, like, ultimately, it's hard to let those guys leave your building. I think, ultimately, they should learn – by some of the mistakes they've made in terms of how they've handled the yep. Dak Prescott situation. You would think. Yeah, I, it does seem like they could be aware well, of some of the mistakes. Oh, go ahead, Herm. What would you have? Go ahead, Herm. Well, well, Laura, you know, here's the deal with the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the deal. Give us the deal. And I'm, not, I'm I aging myself now. I didn't play against this one guy, but Bob Hayes. All right, think about Bob Hayes. Then it was Drew Pearson. Then it was Tony Hill. Right? It's been Dez Bryant. I mean, it continues. They've always had excellent receivers yeah they, 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 that's the history of the Dallas Cowboys so they get that part of it now they got to get the guy signed right and if you look across the league too and the way that receiver market continues to explode it makes it even that much more important guys let's get to the Colts and specifically their okay there you have it so the latest for the Dallas Cowboys Dak Prescott seems to be fine CD Lamb's not talking and um that's really about it so there's nothing really going on. Uh, at least uh, Dak and CD are working with the kids and things. So as always, we appreciate you guys and hope that you all are having a great day. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Peace out.